All right, we start with squash tonight. Excitement has been building over the big Cayman squash open, and the big talk is that the squash club has constructed an all-glass court at Kamana Bay. That, make, that makes the court um, one of the premier venues in the world. The court will be home to the final four days of the 2010 Cayman Open, with the first three days taking place at the South Sound Squash Club. Now, tickets are still available for the games, but hurry up because they are selling fast. The first rounds begin this Sunday night. Good news if you're unable to make it out to the finals. Next Saturday at 7 p.m., Cayman 27 will be carrying the men's, women's, and double finals live. So that's Cable Channel 4, Cayman 27, as well as the much-anticipated match between MLA's Mark Scotland and Klein Glidden. That should be a good one. The high-profile competitors are also giving the kids something really to look forward to. They get, they're getting to see very positive role models, being active, um, and, and that's what it's about. The, having the top players does create a buzz whereas if it was the world number 200 that you just wouldn't have so so it's an important part of it but the, the, the thing is that it gets kids involved our members like seeing it that, that drives parents towards the kids doing it more so it, it creates this lovely circle where everything feeds each other everyone wins all right and in addition to squash this weekend there are a few other events taking place on saturday it's the 23rd annual lime 800 meters sea swim which is going to finally hit the waters after some delays it starts at governor's beach at 4 p.m the race will conclude over at Public Beach. The Grifta Swim Team is expected to be down there, so you might want to go check them out. And the East End Community Basketball League is starting up their registration for their upcoming season. You can head to the Beach Cabanas in East End between 3 and 6 tomorrow, or you can also check out more information on the Department of Sports website. All right, on to the pros. We are down to less than a week to go in the NBA and the NHL regular seasons. Playoff be playoffs begin next week for both leagues, but are not completely set yet. In the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers have secured the Eastern title with the best record in the league. Now, they're going to be the team to beat as last year's defending East champs Orlando is holding a strong second in the playoffs. Over in the West, the L.A. Lakers need just one more win to wrap up the conference, but teams like Denver, Dallas, and Phoenix are all clipping at their heels. Now, going down into the final weekend in the NHL, the Washington Capitals have a commanding lead for the playoffs as well in the East. In the West, it's the San Jose Sharks who have the most points with just one game left to go. And we're just a mere 62 days away from one of the biggest sporting events around the world. I'm talking about football or soccer. The 2010 World Cup is gearing up to hit the fields in South Africa mid-June. This year's top picks are the familiar powerhouses of England, Spain, Argentina, and Brazil. But there could be a few sleeper teams that come through as a surprise. Those include the Netherlands, the U.S., and defending champs, Italy, who could be big threats. Most of the teams using this time right now to prepare by playing some friendly games against one another. You can check out Island 24 during the games. We will have complete coverage following all of your favorite teams. All right, well, that's it for tonight's sports. Get out there this weekend and be active.